Hello everyone, this is Yuxin and Sarah. Today we'll be talking about two concepts related to channel coding. As we might expect, the communication channels in real life are almost never perfect. Data packets might be corrupted or not during transmissions. As an example, our phone transmits a stream of zero and ones to the base station. However, due to the noises in between, such as obstacles and bad weather, some databases are lost and some databases are incorrect at the base station. Therefore, how to reconstruct transmitted data reliably and efficiently is inevitably an important problem. I will first talk about iterative decoding of LDPC codes. Iterative decoding is a low-complexity decoding algorithm, and LDPC codes are widely adopted codes in many practical applications. As an example, consider we have a black-white image representing a dense 100 data stream of zero and ones with letters information theory IT here. We demonstrate a rate half LDPC code, which encodes 100 bits into 200 bits shown at the right half of the picture. Here, every linear code is uh, defined by a party check matrix, which specifies the set of linear constraints imposed on the code word bits. The transmitted vector is comprised of this 100 source bits and this 100 extra party check bits. We model the channel to be an erasure channel where each bit is erased with probability is open to five when transmitting over this channel. The resulting image is shown on the right. Instead of the original black white image, we now see some gray bits representing erasures. At around one second interval, the demonstration shows the best guess by an iterative decoder after five iterations. After the fifth iteration, all party checks are satisfied the decoder successfully reconstructs the original image. Hi everyone, this is Tara. I'll be talking about channel polarization, which is the main theorem behind polar codes. Polar codes were invented by Erdel Arikan and are the first ever codes which are proven to achieve the capacity of binary input discrete memoryless channel. A by DMC channel W looks as follows, where the input alphabet is binary, the output alphabet is arbitrary, and the channel is denoted by W. The capacity is the maximum achievable rate over a certain channel with an almost zero probability of error. For a by DMC, the capacity is between zero and one bits per channel use. The channel coding problem is to map K message bits into N information bits, and those added parity bits could help us to detect or correct some of the errors imposed by the noisy channel. So, the question is how to structure this mapping to achieve capacity. The answer is not easy. However, for two types of channels, the channel coding problem is trivial. Number one, for a very noisy channel where the output becomes completely independent of the input and, and no matter how many parity bits or extra bits you add, you cannot convey information. The capacity of such a channel is zero. And the other extreme case is a noisy channel with a capacity of one. So th this channel is perfect and there is no need for coding. Uh, polar codes aim to utilize this fact. So we start with a binary discrete memoryless channel and for n independent uses of this channel, the channel polarization theorem says that we can synthesize n new channels that are polarized in the sense that some of these channels will be useful with a capacity that is almost equal to one and should be used for transmission. And the remaining are useless channels with a capacity that is almost equal to zero and should be discarded. The fraction of useful channels approaches the capacity of the by DMC W and thus the term capacity achieving. So how to structure these new polarized channels? To know more, please refer to the reference. Thank you.